I've been standing at the edge of the water Long as I can remember Never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter But I come back to the water No matter how hard I try Every turn I take, every path I track The mistakes I make is where the road leads back To that place I know where I want to go Where I long to be See the line where the sky meets the sea It calls me And no one knows How far it goes Then the wind in my hair flowing free stays behind me one day I'll know Once I know there's just no telling how far I'll go I know everybody on the island Seems so happy on the island Everything is by design I know everybody on the island Has a role on the island So maybe I can try to find mine I can lead with pride, I can make us strong I'll be satisfied once they play along With a voice inside, so's a different side What is wrong with me? See the lights as it shines when it reaches to my fantasies But I don't know how deep it goes And it seems like it's reaching out to me So come find me just let me know What's beyond that line? Will I cross that line? See the line where the sky meets the seas It calls me I wanna know How far it goes Once the wind through my hair blowing free stays behind me Someday I'll know How far I'll go Mariel, hurry up! We're about to have breakfast! Coming, Mom! Um, Tootie, can I be a leader today? You really expect an Aspie to be a great leader? Uh, I, uh, I agree with that, dude. I mean, men don't make that great of an authority figure. What do you mean, Mariel? Yeah, why do you think that? You know how they are, Joseph. Uh, Mariel, I am a man. I didn't mean you. I, I, I meant I. I gotta go. What's wrong with her? Uh, I don't know. Joseph, how about you lead the pack today? I'm sure she'll trust you. <sighs> um, Mayor, I just remembered I gotta do a a thing. <sighs> you know how men are. Men are disgusting pervs. They only want attractive women for stuff. Especially young children and- Mariel, are you- Stay away from me, you fiend! What the- Babe, I don't mind you being the leader today. I can trust you. Yeah, um, wanna stay beside me during the trip? Sounds good. I'm gonna pull her tail. Go for it! I mean, that bitch sure is hot! Come on, Churro, you gotta say something! I, I can't. Hey, uh, Joseph, can I speak with Mariel for a sec? Come on, dude, speak up! Wait! And what do you want, loser? Uh, I, um... You can do it, Churro! Uh... Forget it. Actually, I forgot what I was gonna say. Eh, sorry. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. Asperger kids are always forgetful. Well, I, I guess I can, but uh, all right. Be right back. So, what do you creeps want? Hey, watch it! Let me tell you, Mariel, you are hot! Uh, <sighs> Come on, baby. Let's go to my cave. I have a little present for you. I wonder what's taking them so- Joseph! They're trying to- Well, you know! Ah, shit! Please, please, stop! Get off me! Please, just get off me! 
get off me. I don't like it. Joseph? Don't you ever lay your paws on my girlfriend again. Got that? <laughs> Whatever. Mariel, are you- Stay away from me, Joseph. Babe, it's okay. Get off of me! You men are all the same. All you care about are using young women. Especially young children. What the fuck was that about? What happened out there, Joseph? Two male cat dragons were harassing Mariel, and now she's afraid of all males. I'm sure you know about her past life, don't you? I do. In fact, I was part of it. I mean, I do feel bad about how her father treated her like that. I'm still mad at him this day about how he treated my baby. But what about Mariel's biological father? Oh, Joseph. If only you knew. What do you mean? Mariel's dad. My husband died the day before Mariel was born. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, oh god. Oh my god. Mary Elaine McDaniels? Hold on! I is Jason okay? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid your husband's surgery has been unsuccessful. It's best you say your goodbyes. N no, he can't die! I'm about to have my daughter in a couple of weeks! I understand, miss. Loss can be hard, I- Doctor! Your patient's heart rate is dropping! Oh shit! Wait, doctor! He, he can't die. He, he can't! Oh, Mary, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, Jason. I'll make sure Mariel knows all about you. Even if you aren't here. Oh, Mayor, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna talk to Mariel about it. See you later, Joseph. Ugh, stupid men! Mariel, are you in there? I need to talk to you for a bit. Come in. <laughs> Seriously, what is it? There's uh, something I need to tell you. And what is that? Listen, I, I know you haven't been yourself today, and I understand you were living with a pedophile most of your childhood, but your father wouldn't want you to be hurting like this. Father? As unfortunate as it sounds, your biological father passed away. He really wanted to watch you blossom into the successful mare that you are. How did he die? He had cancer, and died during surgery. The day before you were born. <laughs> so you guys weren't divorced? N no Speaking of which... Here. A locket? This is something I vowed to give to you when we would cross paths. Your dad wanted to give this to you on your 13th birthday. Um, thanks, Mom. I'll cherish it forever. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night. Good night, Dad. <laughs>